Hello everyone, welcome to our today's video on Peach Feed. I'm Dr. Rakhidash, Assistant Professor of Department of Aquaculture, Sage University, Bhopal. Our today's topic is Peach Feed. What is Peach Feeds? Fish feeds are an integral part of the commercial and personal aquaculture, which provides a balanced diet and nutrition for the farm fish. The aquaculture feed is mainly in pallets or granules, thus providing wholesome nutrition in a concentrated and stable form, allowing the fish to feed well and grow to the maximum potential. Types of fish feed. Generally, three types of fish feed are common in India for farm the fishes. Number one is natural foods, number two is supplementary foods, and number three is complete foods. Natural fish feed. What is natural fish feed? Generally, different types of foods are produced naturally in ponds or reservoirs. These are called natural foods. They are very small and their movement depends on the direction of the water current that helps goes towards them. They are known as planktons. Generally, planktons are of two types. One is phytoplankton and another is zooplankton. What is phytoplankton? Phytoplankton are the autotrophic organisms that play a key role as the natural food of various fish species. Most of the phytoplankton are not seen by the naked eye due to their macroscopic structure. But when present in large enough, they produce a colored patches on the water surface because of the presence of the chlorophyll or xanthophylls in their cells. Phytoplankton form about 1% of the global biomass. The water color becomes green to yellow or green to brown due to the presence of plankton. They are the ideal food for the fishes. Generally, the zooplankton is uh, identified as an animal plankton. And zooplankton are one kind of heterotrophic organisms. They mainly feed on phytoplankton, but some are detritivorous. Their body size ranges from microscopic to large size, such as jellyfish, which are visible in the naked eye. They inhabit different types of water bodies, such as the freshwater systems and oceans. Zooplankton are the ecologically important organisms that, may, that maintain the essential constituent of the food chain. They are the larger than phytoplankton. When many numbers of the zooplankton are raised in the water bodies, the water color is gray or light brown or light black. Supplemental fish feed. Generally, when we cultivate the fish in large quantities and raise them, then it will not depend only on natural food. They have to provide supplementary or artificial foods made from outside. Besides, if we depend on natural foods, they can disrupt the entire nutrition of the fish. In the supplementary diet, the required amino acids should be at the appropriate levels. Fish food should contain 35% of the protein levels and the supplementary diet of the fish should contain 1 to 5% uh, carbohydrate. In addition to carbohydrate, fish need to be fat for nutrition. Food should contain uh, generally 10 to uh, uh, 10 to 12 percent of the fat, essential fats like tocopherol should be present in the diet of the fish. Besides this, protein, carbohydrate, and fats, the body of the fish requires various nutrients such as minerals like calcium, phosphorus, potassium, chloride, magnesium, zinc, copper, iodine, iron, etc. To make a balanced diet, vitamin should be added to the supplementary food. In this case, different types of vitamins such as vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin E, vitamin D, and vitamin K are the most important. Supplemental food of the fish is also made using animal-based ingredients such as fish powder, silkworm pupa, animal uh, or slaughterhouse meat and blood, etc., and plant-based ingredients such as mustard oil cake, coconut cake, soybean meal, rice bean, wheat flour and uh, wheat bran, etc. are also used to make the fish food. Types of the supplementary feed components. In the profitable fish farming, there is a need for regular supply of the sustained and balanced food for fish growth. To ensure the sustained growth, artificial feed uh, has to be supplemented at times of natural food scarcity in ponds. The typical supplementary feeds are generally rice bran, groundnut oil cake, bread crumbs, fish meal, maize powder, broken rice, soybean cake, peanut cake, corn meal, cotton seed oil cake, 
uh, boats, barley, potatoes, coconut cakes, sweet potatoes, guinea grass, napier grass, wheat, silkworm pupa, leftover animal feeds, and animal manures also. The kind of the extra food depends on the type of the fish. For example, like uh, tilapia is almost anything, include all types of supplementary fish. And the silver cup eat only phytoplankton, even at the marketable sizes also. Now, vegetable fish such as the leaves, grasses, tubers, and root starches also use uh, as a supplementary food component. The selection of the supplementary feed. The selection of the supplementary feed depends on the number of the physical factors such as ready acceptability to fish, easy digestibility, high conversion value, easy transportation, abundant ability, availability, ready acceptability by the fish and its conversion ratio and the inbound cost are the most important. It should be balanced one with adequate protein, fat, carbohydrate, mineral and vitamin contents. Complete fish diet. They are made from a mixture of carefully selected ingredients to provide all the nutrients necessary for the fish to grow well. Uh, they must be made in a form which the fish find easy to eat and digest. Complete diet supply all the ingredients like protein 18 to 50 percent, lipid 10 to 25 percent, carbohydrate 50 to 20 percent, ash uh, less than uh, greater than 8.5 percent. And phosphorus 1.5 percent, butter 10 percent, and test elements like uh, vitamins and minerals necessary for the optimum growth and health of the fishes. Artificial fish for formation. Artificial fish feed are formulated through Pearson square formula, trial and error formula, and linear programming also. Thank you for listening to me. Stay tuned and subscribe to our Sage University Bhopal page.